In this video, we're going to take a look at the hyper log log data structure, which is a probabilistic data structure, which is used to count unique things. So it might sound a bit confusing, but it's really not. Ultimately, what it is, is a data structure used to count things. Uh, an example where you might use this is if you want to count unique queries performed by your users when they're searching on your website, or perhaps you're building a web crawler and you want to count the number of times you've visited a unique URL. So let's look at a, an example of using the hyperloglog log data structure. Let's use the example of building a web crawler. So let's go ahead and add our first thing to our hyperloglog. log. To add to a hyperloglog, log, you use the pf add command. You then use the key of your log and then the element you want to add. In this case, we're going to pretend that we're crawling some websites every day of the week and we're going to count up the number of times we've crawled those websites. Let's go ahead and add Monday as our key and then we'll say that we crawled google.com on that Monday. We'll see we get back an integer one, which means that's been successfully added to our hyperlog log. To count the number of items in your hyperlog, you just do pf count and then the key of your log, in this case Monday, and we'll get back the integer of one. You can also add multiple elements at once. So if we do pf add monday and then let's add redis.com, then python.org, we'll see we get back the integer one, which means it's been successful. If we do pf count monday, we will see we have an integer of three, and that's because we've added three items. So we've added google.com, we've added redis.com and python.org. As I mentioned earlier, hyperlogs count unique values. So if we go ahead and try and add to our Monday log redis.com, we'll see we get back an integer of zero. That means that nothing has been added. And if we do pf count of Monday again, we'll see we still have an integer of three. And that's because redis.com already exists in our log. We're going to create a new log for Tuesday. And in Tuesday, I'm gonna add google.com which we already had on Monday. I'm also going to add some new items, so rustlang.org and golang.org. We'll see we've added those to Tuesday. If we do pf count of Tuesday, we'll see we have three items there and we have three items in Monday as well. If you want to count all the unique items across multiple logs, you can do that with pf count. You just pass in all the logs that you want to count up. So Monday, and then Tuesday, and you'll see we get back five. And the reason we get back five is because google.com exists in both of those logs. So it's only gonna count it once. As we know, logs only count unique values. So google.com is only counted once. If you want to add all of these values up and store them in another log, you can do that with the pf merge command. So let's go ahead and call this the week count, and then we'll add Monday and then Tuesday and you'll see we get an okay there so then we can do pf count of week count and we'll see we get back the integer of five which means we've added up Monday and Tuesday and we've saved it in a new log called week count. Thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps out the channel.